great question and answer we today. We do. This was a phone call that we got yesterday, and mm -hmm. if one person has the question, Multiple so does everyone. Do. So. so, Sarah, I want to buy a house, but mm -hmm. I currently have a house that I'm living in. What do I do? And it's a house that you own. Yes. Correct. Okay. So the first step would be to get with a lender, this one over here, mm -hmm. um, to make sure that we can get you pre-approved in order to buy uh, before we even list your home on the market. Yeah. So Hannah, can you explain that approval process, how that works and everything? Yes. So when we go ahead and take your application, um, we're going to go through a number of different things. We're going to look at what your ratios are to see if you could, for some reason, add a second mortgage payment into your ratios and it not affect you. And we're also going to talk about the loan type that your original house was under. So if you have a conventional loan, you can have multiple conventional loans, but if you have an FHA loan or a VA loan, they're not gonna let you acquire a second without selling the first one. Um, so we'll talk about reasons that the FHA allows you to have a second FHA loan. Um, there are very few. Most likely it's not going to be something you're interested in. And we're also going to go over what your ratios would look like while taking out that other mortgage payment and adding in a new one. And we like to make sure that, you know, you're not getting a payment shock and you're not going from a thousand dollar mortgage payment to $3,000 yeah. and then suddenly you wouldn't be able to handle it. Right. And we would also make sure that um, we put on your pre-approval that it is dependent on the sale of your other home. Yes. So in that time period in which I want to go buy this house, are you going to sell my house out from under me and I'm going to be homeless? No. So typically what we would do is we would get your criteria, everything that you're looking for. We'll get your house on the market. So say we have the pre-approval, we'll get your house on the market. We'll start sending you properties that kind of meet your criteria and all of that. And then once we actually have an offer on your home, we'll start... Um, really going to look at those properties and find something for you and then what we do is we write a contingent offer so we tell basically the other seller hey we want to buy your house but my house over here that's under contract has to sell first in order for me to buy it mm -hmm. and that date is such and such of the closing so there we go so i'm not going to be homeless no. i don't have to go live with my in-laws no and then um sometimes we can do like a closing on the same days sometimes that works out we love that yes um but if not we can always do like a few day lease back that way we can close on your sale and then you can be in your house for a few days close on the buy and then move in wonderful yeah so what you're telling me is it's time for me to get pre-approved and yes. then get this household correct perfect we are looking forward to your applications they're gonna links are down below down there mm -hmm. and down below. um you know where to find us www.sarahunderwood.work www.loanswithhannah.com and that's all bye guys bye